Well, hi, everybody, and good Monday morning to you. all just Travis Klineski on our way to a good start today. Uh, temperatures are mild in the 40s and 50s. We've got lots of sunshine to begin our morning here, and we'll keep that sunshine around throughout the day today. A weak warm front making its way through. That's going to keep those temperatures on the warm side, warmer than what we had yesterday. Yesterday, we had high temperatures that were up there in the uh, 70s, a few low 80s out west. In fact, there were your highs from yesterday. We're going to do it even better for the day today. So let's jump ahead again, looking then at tonight. Is. Then we'll start to see some uh, changes coming in overnight tonight with uh, increasing clouds as a cold front approaches. Those clouds will mostly roll in after midnight. There is going to be a slight chance of rain and isolated thunder after midnight as well. Um, I think your best chance, though, will be towards northeast Nebraska and then up into South Dakota, northwest Iowa, southwest Minnesota, closer to that area of low pressure up there. So the chance is better there than they are farther to the south. Now, this front comes through pretty early tomorrow morning. You're going to notice some changes tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit cooler. Still pretty nice temperature-wise, just cooler. But the biggest change, I think, is going to be the wind. Today's wind's not very strong. In fact, as I'll back this up a little bit here, going through the day today, you'll notice those arrows not moving a whole lot today. They're kind of slower moving. Winds aren't going to be overly strong today. But as we get into tomorrow, yeah, those, those winds are going to start to pick up speed. Look at the northwest winds for tomorrow. Here we go. Northwest winds up there around 20, 25, 30 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon. Gusts could approach or exceed 35 miles per hour. Along with that, we are going to see a few afternoon uh, increasing clouds and even a few hit or miss showers or weak thunderstorms not out of the question. Once again, though, the chances may be a little more favorable off towards northeast Nebraska and less favorable to the south and southwest. Those will then clear out tomorrow evening. Wind's still going to be a little breezy tomorrow evening. Um, that actually keep temperatures from getting overly cold tomorrow night, though. Uh, but the winds will actually stick around even into our day on Wednesday as well. The day where it might be a little cooler for some of us on Wednesday. So highs today, though, soaring. We're looking at a lot of lower 80s, a few mid-80s this afternoon. Maybe a couple of upper 70s here and there, but overall uh, well above average. Average high today is about 66 or 67 in the Tri-Cities, and we should be way above that for today. Mild night ahead of us. How about 50s? for overnight lows, maybe near 60 in some spots here, the 40s out west, so a mild night ahead. And then tomorrow, temperatures cooler behind that cold front. We'll see temperatures in the 70s and even some 60s to the north and to the west. We'll shoot for mid 70s around the Tri-Cities, a few upper 70s off towards the southeast. A little cooler then for Tuesday night, well behind that front, we're talking uh, temperatures back down in the 40s for overnight lows, some 30s in the panhandle. And then tomorrow, or excuse me, Wednesday's temperatures with another day with some brisk north and northwest winds. A little cooler yet. We're talking uh, mid to upper 60s, lower 70s for highs on your Wednesday. Well, let's take a look at the rest of that forecast as we look ahead here. We're looking at temperatures today in 80s, mid 70s tomorrow, around 70 or upper 60s to near 70 on Wednesday. The winds again strong Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, our winds on Thursday reverse course. They're going to be more southerly They'll still be breezy, but not as windy as they have. They will be for Tuesday and Wednesday. And that southerly wind's going to warm us back up into the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. And then look at that for Friday. Attention, Jeff Lobner up in Central City. I know you love your 80s. There you go. Another day in the 80s there on Friday. In fact, some to the southwest may shoot for 90 degrees on Friday. And then we see some cooler air come in for the weekend. Not cold, but cooler um, for Saturday and Sunday with another chance of rain and thunderstorms Saturday afternoon into Saturday night and maybe a little bit of a breeze out there around 10 to 20 miles per hour. And if, uh, another thing of importance there as you look at the long range forecast is those overnight lows. We're moving into growing season as we wrap up the month of April and move into May. May 1st is there, I believe on Friday. Yep, Friday, May 1st. Um, so we're getting into growing season, so you want to keep those temperatures above freezing and even above about 35 or 36 where you can still get frost. We're staying above that here in the Tri-Cities at least, and nothing uh, sub-freezing or anywhere kind of close to that here as a look at the week ahead. Long-range temperatures do indicate that we're going to cool back a little bit as we get into early next week here. So really starting Sunday and continuing to early next week, upper 60s, lower 70s. Not cold, but cool. And um, But the, hopefully that will at least be warm enough. Uh, this is high temperatures, so hopefully the lows will stay warm enough. Again, we're staying well above freezing. So with that, going to let you all go. One thing I'll mention right away this morning, if you're watching early on this Monday morning, now might be a good time to open up your windows. Current temperatures, they're in the 50s and 40s, and with the temperatures getting into the 80s today, maybe want to let some of that cooler air in this morning before it gets really warm, because it is going to get warmer in the house later on today, and it's going to be one of those deals where you're going to want to possibly turn on the air conditioner, but you probably don't want to be just because of the weather that we're seeing the next couple of days. But let that cool air rush in this morning before it gets 
overly warm out there later on today if you can. So, all right, with that, I'm going to let you all go. Thanks for watching on this Monday morning. I'll talk to you all again on Tuesday. Take care and God bless.